Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to a special edition of Bunches of Lunches. This week the kids are on fall break and that means no school. I know they're super excited about that, but I'm super excited because this week my parents are visiting us. So come along with me today as I share with you all of our lunches from the week as well as a little bit about what we've been doing each day. Hey guys and welcome to Monday. Right now it is lunchtime and we are at Epcot. Now today we have my parents with us and I'm super excited to show them around. They've actually never been to Epcot before. This park has so many unique attractions that are not found anywhere else. And I know they are just going to love the World Showcase. Of course, that's where you can go to experience the food and cultures of 11 different countries from around the world. So this morning we got here right and early as soon as the park opened because we wanted to make sure to do as many of the rides and attractions as we could. We hurried on over to Test Track, which is the kids' favorite ride. We headed on over to Soren, and then onto a very interesting ride called Living with the Land. Now, a lot of people find this ride kind of boring, but I actually really like it. I love seeing all the different plants and the really unique ways that they're growing them. So right now it is about noon and we are definitely definitely ready for some lunch. So one of the things I like to do to save money when we're at the park is to actually bring some of the food and snacks from home. For today's lunch, my three oldest are having some of these Donald Duck foodles. I find these at Walmart and they really have a good variety of things my kids like. In here there are things like cheese cubes, pretzels, and apple slices. I also brought some portable packs of pickles. My kids love those. And then I also brought some of the kids' favorite Uncrustable sandwiches. Jackson is having the hazelnut one. Mackenzie only likes the strawberry one, so that one's for her. And then of course, Lily is also having the hazelnut one. She loves those too. Now for the adults in our group, I actually picked up two orders of the beef brisket poutine. If you guys are from Canada, you'll know exactly what poutine is. But here at Epcot, these ones are made with french fries, brisket, gravy, lots of cheese. Did I say cheese? Yeah, there's definitely cheese on here. These are just really tasty and perfect for sharing. Okay guys, so now that lunch is over, it's time to visit the World Showcase. And I'm most excited to explore the Japan Pavilion with my parents. And that's because just like me, they have also spent time in Japan over the years. And of course, you can't visit the Japan Pavilion without checking out Mitsukoshi, which is one of my favorite stores. I'd really like to see if they have any new lunch supplies. Oh, check it out, you guys. Gudetama. This bento is so cute. And I don't think I've seen these before either. I love these little Totoro bentos. So cute. This store seriously has so many cute items and snacks. Like I said, I could seriously spend all day in here. I love it. Another thing I love in the Japan Pavilion is the Taiko Drum Performance. And it sounds like it's about to start. So let's head outside so we can watch a show and I'll show you everything that I ended up buying from my favorite store. Now I tried my best not to go crazy in the store, but I did pick up some of my favorite snacks, including some sembe, which are really delicious rice crackers. Then I also picked up some daifuku mochi. Now these ones over here are goma flavored, which is sesame, I love those. And then these ones over here are actually mango, peach, and pineapple fruit flavored. My favorite is probably the sesame flavored ones, but I think everyone else will probably prefer their fruit flavored ones. You guys, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried mochi. I know it's becoming quite popular here in the US, especially the kind that comes with ice cream in the middle. So now we're gonna hang out here at Epcot for a few more hours and do as much as we can, and then we're gonna head back home. Good night! <laughs> Bye! Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Today's lunch is gonna be both Christmas and Mickey-themed. 
because tonight we're going to the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Now I know it might sound weird for a Christmas party to come before Thanksgiving, but that's just how they do things in Disney World. This party is gonna be super fun, but it's going to be a late night because it's not over until midnight. So for today, I'm going to be using these new Mickey and Minnie expandable lunch boxes that I got from Target. And speaking of Target right now, in Targets all across the country, not just in Florida, you can actually find a lot of new Mickey and Minnie items. So when I saw that there were lunch boxes, I definitely wanted to give them a try. These are so cute. There's a mini version and a Mickey version, and I really like how they're expandable. I think that's so neat. So for our sandwich today, I have a snowflake cutter I could use, but I also have a Christmas tree shape. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the Christmas tree. So for the sandwiches today, I'm gonna to be using some sliced rotisserie chicken and some cheese. I'm going to put a little bit of mayo on the bread, followed by the chicken slices, then some Colby Jack cheese. Then I'll go ahead and cut them out with a super cute Christmas tree cutter. Now for the veggies today, I'm keeping them pretty simple. I will go ahead and cut the cucumbers into star shapes. And to go along with the cucumbers, I'm also gonna throw in some baby carrots. And of course, I'm also adding a small container of ranch for the kids to dip their veggies in. For the snack today, I'm gonna go ahead and add some Mickey Mouse goldfish crackers. They just fit perfectly around our sandwich. And for the fruit, I'm also keeping it super simple. I'm just adding in a mandarin orange. These really fit perfectly into the lunchbox. And I definitely want to pick out some Christmas picks to go ahead and decorate these lunch boxes. And then lastly, for their drinks today, I am gonna go ahead and add in a bottle of juice. These are the ones that actually have fruit and veggies in them. And of course, I'm going with the Mickey and Minnie topper here to match the lunch boxes. So now that is everything in today's lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to the kids, and then as soon as they're done, we're gonna to need to start getting ready for the party. Okay guys, so it is almost 4 p.m. now, which means it's almost time for the party to start. Now, this is actually gonna be our first time attending this party, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be cookies, lots and lots of cookies. In fact, they should be handing them out all over the park. I'm hoping that we can go on lots of rides, see all the Christmas decorations. Christmas! Thank you so much. Enjoy. Love it. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Today I am super tired from last night. It was really fun, but we didn't get home until after one. But that's okay, we were able to take today slow, everybody slept in, and we're about to get started making a pizza lunch party. That's right, today each kid is making their own pizza. Now this morning my mom and I actually got in the kitchen and we spent several hours working on some make-ahead Thanksgiving side dishes. And that was actually really special. It's not something I get to do all the time since we've moved. While we were cooking, we got to talk. Now, some of you might have actually seen my mom. She appears quite regularly over on my brother's YouTube channel, Big John TV. And I'll go ahead and add a link down below if you want to check out those videos. So she is no stranger to the YouTube thing. But back to today's lunch. I'm going to be using this Boboli pizza kit I found at Sam's Club. And this comes with the crusts and the sauce, which is awesome. First up to make a pizza is Mackenzie. For her pizza, she's going with some sauce, some mozzarella cheese, some pineapple, and some pre-cooked bacon. Next up we have Jackson, and he's keeping it pretty simple today. He's just adding a little bit of sauce and cheese. Then he's gonna top it all off with a few slices of turkey pepperoni. And finally we have Lily's turn, and she's actually gonna be making one of these pizzas for both her and my preschooler Griffin to share. For this pizza, she's adding her sauce and her cheese. 
But then she's also going to be adding some pineapple chunks and some turkey pepperoni. So now I'm going to pop these all in the oven for about 10 minutes. And when they're done, I have a few more things to add to these lunches. For their veggies today, again, I'm doing a combination of cucumber and carrots. Next, I'm filling these star-shaped silicone liners with a little bit of ranch dressing. This makes it so easy for the kids to dip their veggies in there, and I think it looks really fun too. And then last but not least, for the kids' lunches today, I have a very special treat. Now, I actually bought these a while ago for a princess-themed lunch, but I never ended up using them. Now, these little fruit cups have pear and pomegranate and juice-filled popping boba. The kids have never actually tried these ones before, but I'm pretty sure they're going to love them. Now, for the adults, I've put together some spinach salads. These also include hard-boiled eggs, some bacon crumbles, cheese, craisins, onions, and then for those who like them, I've also added some cherry tomatoes. And then I'm gonna serve this salad with a little bit of poppy seed dressing. And there you have it. There's everything in today's lunch. Hey guys, and welcome to Thursday. It is lunchtime and we're at the Magic Kingdom. Today we have a very full schedule here at the Magic Kingdom, and we're gonna try to fit in as many rides and attractions as we can. This morning we actually started the day with an appointment to meet the mouse himself. That's right. We got to meet Mickey Mouse and take pictures with him. It was super fun. After that, we visited the Carousel of Progress, which is a pretty interesting ride and not one that you can do at Disneyland. They don't have it over there anymore. And then we also went on the Jingle Cruise, which is the holiday version of the Jungle Cruise. Always fun. I love the skippers. Their jokes are usually pretty funny. So now back to today's lunch. For lunch today, the kids are having these Minnie Mouse Foodles, and these are a little bit different than the Donald Duck ones from earlier this week. In these ones, there are cheese cubes, but then instead of pretzels, they have Mickey Mouse shaped crackers, and then there's also apple slices. And then the rest of the lunch is kind of a snacky lunch. I brought some trail mix pouches, some strawberry yogurt pouches, these are perfect because they don't have to be refrigerated. I also brought some mandarin oranges. These are like the perfect portable fruit. I'm definitely gonna be having one of these today. And then because it's Disney, I also bought a couple of these giant turkey legs to share. And then for their drinks today, everyone is just having water. Okay guys, it's a little bit later now and we decided on a special treat that we all wanted to try. This is called Olaf's Frozen Hot Chocolate. This is actually a gluten-free chocolate cake layered with chocolate crispy pearls, chocolate panna cotta, marshmallow fluff, and a cute little white chocolate Olaf on top. Is it good? Hey guys, and happy Friday. Right now we are at Publix, and we're here to pick up a few things so that we can have a picnic at the beach. Now this morning, before we headed out on our drive to the beach, we made a quick stop at our favorite gas station called Racetrack. They definitely don't have any of these back in California. We stopped here to get some gas, but I also wanted to make sure to pick up some boiled peanuts. Again, this is not something that's very popular in California, so I wanted to make sure my parents got to try them when they're here. My kids love them, but they don't like the spicy ones, just the regular ones. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried boiled peanuts. So now back to today's lunch. Here at Publix, I got one big sandwich for my parents to share, and my husband and I ordered the cranberry and turkey holiday sandwich to share. For the kids, I picked up these little turkey and cheese sandwiches. They're on Hawaiian rolls, so I know my kids will love them. And I think these will go perfectly with the other items I brought from home. So here we are, guys. We made it to the beach. Now, truth be told, we've only visited a few beaches here in Florida, but this one here in Clearwater is definitely our favorite so far. And as you can see, the sand is super soft and powdery. To go with the sandwiches, I also brought some string cheese some pop chips, and a delicious fruit salad to share. Oh yes, and I also picked up these really cute little chocolate chip cookies when we were at Publix. Okay guys, now unfortunately, I think this picnic at the beach was a huge, huge mistake. 
I was not expecting the seagulls at this beach to be so aggressive. As soon as we brought out our lunch, they were literally swarming us. And unfortunately, a big flock of birds just swooped in at Lily all at once, and they literally stole the sandwich right out of her hand. Now, thankfully, all they wanted was her food. They didn't actually hurt her. She was just really scared, and I was too. So lesson learned, you guys. Next time we come to this beach, we will not be bringing a picnic. We'll definitely eat before we go to the beach. Now overall, this was a super fun week of lunches. I am super thankful that we got to share it with my parents and with you guys. Be sure to come back for tomorrow's subscriber lunch video because that one's going to be awesome as well. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Stop time.